All right guys, welcome back. It's your host, Chef Ken, with another episode of Covenant Cuisines. And like I was telling you about women, they love three things, wine, sauces, and seafood. So let's dive into the next dish. Be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. So the dish that we're gonna make today is shrimp scampi. Oh, we all know this dish. Everybody knows this dish is a very famous dish. People love it, I love it, you love it, your ladies will love it. So let's go ahead and get started with this. What we're gonna need is our fresh shrimp, 1625 shrimp, preferably with that, a nice large size shrimp, butter, shallots, garlic, olive oil, white wine, and Italian flat leaf parsley, but most importantly, the noodles. So we're gonna use bucatini noodles. So bucatini noodles are kinda like uh, spaghetti noodles, but the difference is they're a little bit thicker, so we're gonna use a small amount of bucatini noodles because these are gonna kinda swell up as we make it, okay? So, just gonna put our noodles to the side, probably about that much, that's all we're gonna need. So let's go ahead and set that right here, okay? Next up, let's get started with our garlic. One garlic clove, we're gonna break the garlic out of the shell that it's in, just lay your knife sideways, give it a nice little tap, and then begin to peel it off, okay? So with this garlic, with this garlic clove, we're gonna cut this into nice, small dice, uniform pieces, okay? So the way to do that is we're gonna take the garlic, lay it flat, we're gonna cut one time across, and then another time across like that. Turn it sideways, and then we're gonna make incisions going down, okay? Then after that, you line it back up, and then you cut it into small, uniform dice pieces. Okay, there we go. Now, now we got that. Let's go ahead and put that into our bowl. Next up, let's do the shallots, okay? What we're gonna do is peel off the first hard outer layer, okay? Set that to the side, and just take off the top, and then we're gonna peel that other little layer that's around that, surrounding the part that we want. So shallots is a distant cousin to onions. They have more of a softer, sweeter taste to it kind of like a yellow onion where it's kind of sweet but still a little astringent. The shallot is not that strong like regular onions are, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take him, make an incision across, and then another one across like that, okay? You're gonna cut down. Going down just like this, okay? And then turn them sideways again, and then here we are nice, small, uniform pieces, okay? You can throw the bottom bulb out. If you have any left, just go ahead and cut that up. Alrighty. So, I'm gonna take the bottom bulb, we're gonna throw that out. And then we're gonna put him next to the garlic. Next up, we're gonna take our Italian flat leaf parsley. So, we're just gonna cut off just the leaves. We don't want any of the stems at the bottom. We want just the leaves, throw that away. Here we are, cut, cut, cut. And now we're gonna take this and do it into a nice mincing piece, okay? If you have any stems, just go ahead and set them aside, but mainly we're focusing on the leaves. Just like that, okay? So you wanna get that to nice, nice, nice small pieces going back and forth. A couple more passes should do it. Here we are. Now, I'm gonna add that right there on the corner end of it. Here. Okay, so let's get started on our pasta. Follow me over this way. All right guys, so here we go. We're starting with our pasta. So we got our water nice, getting ready to simmer and boil. So let's start ahead and season the water. Just like I tell everybody, when we're seasoning pasta, you wanna make the water taste like what? Taste like the sea. So let's go ahead and add the salt in. Add a generous amount of salt in. So therefore we don't have to do any other seasoning to this pasta. Once this is ready, 
is gonna, we're just gonna add it in there and it's gonna make everything come together. So go ahead and add your noodles in like this. And you wanna keep your noodles kind of away from the fire that's in the, that the pot is on so you won't scorch your noodles or burn your noodles. Bucatini noodles are gonna take a while to cook. It takes about, I wanna say 12, 14 minutes to cook, but we're gonna actually overcook this one slightly and there's a reason why. Normally we cook our pasta al dente, but we're gonna overcook this one. And there's a certain reason I'm gonna explain why later. And it's a plating technique. Your lady is gonna love this. I know she's gonna love this. She's gonna see the creativity flowing through your head once you plate this dish for her. So, once the noodles begin to soften up, just go ahead and kind of move them around, okay? As they soften up, we're gonna start adding everything in and just gonna let this guy ride for the next 12 to 14 minutes, okay? So as it's beginning to slowly bend and go in there, let's let that cook some more, okay? Just like this. And when you're adding your pasta into the water, you don't have to worry about oil, uh, adding oil to the water. That's perfectly fine if you want to do that. Doesn't matter if you do or don't. It's only when the pasta comes out, that is the dire part where you need to add the oil in. So your pasta won't stick together, okay? So now, everything's starting to bend. Let's go ahead and see if we can fold everything in there. All right, there we go. Just kind of shove them down in there. I'll get in there. So now, once you get all your pasta noodles in, just let them ride, and we're gonna let science do the rest. Okay? Get all that in there. Good. All right, so we're gonna let that go, and we'll be right back with that. Let's go ahead and get our other ingredients together. All right, guys, so now we got our bucatini noodles going. We have everything already ready. We have our parsley cut, the garlic, the shallots cut, our butter is set. Now let's go ahead and start getting our shrimp together. So we're gonna take our shrimp and we're just gonna take these bad boys and peel them just like that. What we wanna do is even take off the tail. Normally we leave the tail on for shrimp scampi, but this one here, we wanna make this entire dish edible, okay? So let's go ahead and take that, die off, add our shrimp into there, and just keep doing that. So once we take off the shells, next thing we're gonna do is give it a nice cleaning. Here. So we're gonna do about three to four shrimp. Uh, reason why, we're gonna cut this up into nice little shrimp nuggets. And this is just something that's gonna be just a creme de la creme on top of our dish. You know, it's just something that is really, really tasty. I like the way it looks. This dish can be plated several ways, but we're cooking something very special for our very special wife, girlfriend, fiance. This is something that I want to do for you, teach you how to do this, that way we can come together and have a great time. All right? So, take like this, we're gonna devein our shrimp. Okay. Take out the entire vein. And just gonna put it in our little discard pot. And then you're gonna add them back in. One more time. Do that for all of the shrimp. Got the vein. Put them here. Back in. Now this is just some like this something like this is just very peaceful. You know, you're sitting here just gutting another <laughs> sea animal. You know, enjoying that. I know you're probably thinking it's like a sadomasochism kind of thing, but it's kind of relaxing to me. You know, you're just sitting here making a great dish for your wife, and all of a sudden you're just enjoying yourself. Next, you know, you get caught away with cutting shrimp up. All right, so now we got our shrimp deveined. Let's go ahead and cut it into small nuggets like that. So, four cuts should get it. Add it back into our pile. You know, just cut them sideways like that. So now we got our noodle, now we got our shrimp cut. If you want, you can get creative with it. You can even leave one piece of shrimp just cooked and you can add it on top. 
you know, this is your canvas. When you're playing something like this, this is, this is your canvas. This is you getting ready to put your mind onto a blank sheet of paper, but in this case, a blank plate, and you just paint whatever comes to your mind, okay? Especially with something like love and passion and desire that's already flowing through your heart because you're cooking for some, somebody that's very special to you. You know, doing something like that, that's something that is great and it'll help you get your creative juices flowing, okay? So, let's go ahead and move over to our pasta. Let's get it checked out, drain it, and then let's start building the dish, okay? Follow me. All right, so we're now we're gonna drain our pasta. Let's go ahead and give it a check to see how cooked it is. Take out a small piece. Oh yeah, cooked all the way through. I like it, slightly overcooked. Like I said, I'm explaining the reason why we overcooked it in this one. So let's go ahead and get it drained. All right, so now we're gonna get to the part of building the dish, and then we're gonna get to the favorite part, plating. So let's get our pan on a nice medium-high heat, and let's add our oil in. Add a generous amount in, and we want our oil to catch up to the heat of the pan, okay? The way to do that is test it and see how freely it moves around. If your oil begins to have ripples, that means it's nice and very hot, okay? So the scampi sauce can be built two ways. You can build it with the white wine and then the butter, or you can build it with a cream base, white wine and butter. And that's the, that's the route we're gonna take. That's gonna have a nice, thick, mouth-coating flavor to it. And then you can serve that with a nice Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, acidic wine to cut through the fat of the entire dish. So this is just gonna blow your mind. Talk about wine dishes all the way around. This is something that's just like, you know, I love this kind of stuff. So we're gonna take our shrimp pieces, and we're just gonna add them in. Okay, then I kind of spread them around. Fellas, what I would suggest to you is get a pair of plating tweezers, something like this. You can find this anywhere. You can find it on Amazon, you can find it at Walmart, you can find it any place out there. But you get these kind of tweezers and then these things will help you make a plate that we're about to make today. And if you don't have tweezers, of course use tongs. Either way, at the end, we're gonna get the same result. So. Let's go ahead and add our salt, season that up, add our pepper, nice generous amount. All right, so now that we got that going, let's kind of give it a swish around, get all the pieces of the shrimp halfway cooked, and we're going to let science do the rest. We're going to let the heat from everything else finished cooking it. Now, let's add in lemon juice, and then white wine. Awesome. Now let's add in the cream. And we're gonna let that cream kind of reduce. That way, as it starts to reduce and get pretty thick, it's gonna make like a nice coating sauce, and you'll see the bubbles as it begins to make, letting you know that the sauce is reducing. All right, so let's let that sit, reduce some, and then this will be a perfect time to add in your garlic, shallots, and your parsley. And just let those things work together. All right, just move that around a little bit. All right. So, at any time, you can always taste to see if you need to adjust the flavor of your sauce. Oh yeah, the lemon, the wine, everything just cuts through there. So let's add a little bit more salt and a touch more pepper. Now, toss in the noodles. This is the fun part. So we're gonna let our noodles cook with the sauce to absorb the flavor of everything. You know, there it is. Just let that sit and then let that kind of simmer in. 
let all that simmer in and just stick together. You know, this is it. This is it, this is perfect right here. And if you want, you can make it as saucy as you want to. You can add a little bit more cream to it. It's gonna bring everything together because we're gonna finish this with butter and that's gonna finally close this saga of a great shrimp scampi. So now let's give it a few more flips. Just like that. Nice white sauce. Okay, so let's add in our butter and this will finish off everything. And you can just let this ride with a little bit of heat, not too much because we don't want to split the butter and the cream. We want everything to kind of come together and just stick together. So let this sit. Let's get over here and let's start plating. All right, so now the dish is finished. Now let's get to the part to where I said let's overcook the pasta a little bit. So like I said, we're gonna take our tongs and we're gonna take a spoon and we're just gonna scoop this up in here just like that. And you wanna let that hang. And so as you do that, lay it against your pan and then let's give it a twirl, okay? Make a nice tight coil, okay? I'm gonna lay this bad boy down here. Just like that. And with the rest of it, let's get all of our other stuff out of the way. And then we're just gonna add the shrimp on top and that'll be the final piece that we have, okay? So let's do this. Put this here, lay them across top. have it. Shrimp scampi done our way. How beautiful is that?